Hey guys, what's going on? It's Placing here, coming at you a brand new video. This time we're going to be talking about the Rocat Cone XP Air, okay? So right here, I'm going to show you guys how to install the software, the Swarm software, and how to get it set up for, for you to play World of Warcraft. I'm going to go over keybinds, um, um, color codes for World of Warcraft, all that kind of jazz, okay? So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to show you how to get everything set up for this brand new mouse that you may have just purchased. All right, so here we go. Once you get it up, you can go ahead and go to over to Rocat Support and go ahead and go to Cone XP Air. It's going to come up as the first thing. You go ahead and left click on this. At that point, it's going to come up and look like this. You can go ahead and click download. Once you click download, it's going to pop up like so. All right. At this point, this is all going to be blank. It will not be here because your stuff is not registered. You can go ahead and make sure the software itself is fully updated. The Swarm software. Make go ahead and click search. It's going to find you update. Go ahead and click on update. From there, it's going to go over and register all your <clears throat> all of your devices. Most likely, if you don't have any Rocat um, stuff prior, all of this will be blank and will not have anything. Even if you have Bluetooth enabled on your mouse and you're using it currently, um, it will not register it. So what you have to do is take the hardwire cord, take it, plug in the little mouse symbol, plug it into the back of the keyboard with the USB. And you're going to take the USB-C and plug it to the front of your mouse. At that point, it's going to then ask you to update the mouse. Go ahead and update your mouse like so. From there, it's going to ask you to take the USB wireless. Um, you can go ahead and take that and put it into the back of your PC or the front. It really does not matter. Just make sure it's plugged in. Once both of the dongle and the mouse is connected go ahead and click recover and it's going to look like this okay as go update the firmware this is going to take roughly two to three minutes to complete so go grab some coffee whatever you like drinking and go take a little break while this updates once the update is completed it should show up in the update center like so after that you're going to want to ensure that your rapid charging dock is also set up so what you want to do is unplug your mouse take the usb side and just go ahead and plug it into the back of it with a usb going into the computer go ahead and plug it in and it's going to ask you to do the exact same thing make sure you update that and then show show up here as is that your product is up to date after that you're going to go ahead and plug your mouse back in um, into the computer with the USB side going in to set up your key binds and illumination settings. So first we're going to go over the illumination settings so you guys can kind of see all the uh, all your options. So you have wave, you have um, lighting off. If, if you don't like the RGB lighting, go ahead and do that. You have fully lit and you can also change the color of the left, the right, the back, and also the middle mouse wheel. You also have heartbeat if that's something that interests you, you can do that as well as breathing. And if you are a Raven Joyer or a Demon Hunter player or a mage that um, that plays Fire Mage, this would be a great setting for you. So every time um, you're blasting away, you're Raven to your music EDM, this is blinking away, keeping you in that Rave kind of setting, all right? Um, if you're unsure of your battery indication, if, if, if you really don't pay attention to how much your, um, your mouse is being charged, Go ahead and battery indication, and this will glow based on how low your battery is. For me, I like the uh, Amiibo Intelligent System. Uh, for this one, every time I click anything on my Demon Hunter or my Death Knight, these things are lighting up based on how um, how much I'm clicking them. So the middle mouse button is changing colors if I'm clicking on that. I think it's really neat. I think it's very, very cool. So if that's something you're interested in, you can go ahead and do that as well. Also, ensure you click the sync lighting effect. So that way, your rapid charging dock right here is also being lit up as well with the actual mouse also. Right, so once you get the uh, the illumination that you like, you like the color settings, go ahead and set up your profiles. For here, I have Real Warcraft and also Valorant set up. So under the profile, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you can set this up for Real Warcraft. All right, so you can go ahead. And these all will be erased. It will pretty much be default settings. So what you want to do is go ahead and click whatever keybind you want. So with this mouse, once again, guys, there's a special feature on this called a 40 middle mouse button, uh, middle wheel, excuse me. What this does is it allows you to keybind the middle mouse to do a ability on the left when you push the mouse wheel to the left and also push the mouse wheel to the right. It also can do another ability. So what I've done is I put my heart bar slot three, go ahead and go into macros, scroll down to real of Warcraft and select hot bar slot three. Go ahead and click on that. 
And now essentially what that does is anything that's on my heart bar slot three is going to activate. So pretty much this is action bar three for those that are real to work at phonetics. Okay. So once you get everything set up, the key binds you want, um, this should this will all be working and there's a little quick tip for you guys um there's a really cool thing with this with this cone xp air is there's an easy shift this easy shift key which is near where your thumb lays on now what this does is when you push it down you can assign even more key binds so if you don't like all of these maybe you want to put all of them on these four you can do four and four all the way up to nine um, I mean all the way up to 8 if, if you wanted to you can do that with this mouse Without having to use any of these buttons that that doesn't interest you Go ahead and go over here and go ahead and you can assign these to the easy shift key binds Now for this to work for real of warcraft you're going to have to go down to easy shift And you're going to have to go down to row cat It's going to be default set as all devices You're going to want to click easy shift plus without the all devices Go ahead and click on that and now it's going to work in Real of Warcraft. So essentially what I have it set up to is for cycle targets. For a lot of players, um, they do get arthritis, especially playing for a, lot, a long time, a lot of amount of hours. Having to click tab target if you are a tab targeter. Um, like my father is, he loves clicking tab target. But he, you know, it is hard on his hand, especially you know when you do get older. So being able to cycle through targets on the mouse is very good. On your left hand, you're not really getting tired. And you can just use everything with your right hand, okay? So that's very, that's a very nice setting that is pre-built into here if you want it. So I, you just have to go here, Real of Warcraft, scroll up to Cycle Targets. And now the middle mouse button to the left will now cycle through targets if you're holding the Easy Shift key. Alright, so we're going to jump into Real of Warcraft right now so I can kind of show you guys how it works. I'm going to go ahead and move my camera down so you guys can actually see me pushing it in action, alright? So essentially, we're going to go ahead and look at it, all right? Let me move my camera. So I muted myself there. Middle mouse button to the right hand side is going to be your rush just like so and then i have a keybound also do my fell rush like so and also what i have done so you guys can see as well my swarm setting is i have done eight and nine which is usually by default that's your dpi up and down and since it's world of warcraft and you really don't need to ever change your dpi setting i've actually assigned these as um as action buttons so essentially what mine does for you guys is mine is blade dance and mine is vengeful retreat all right that can go in and dash in and then my mega button is going to be middle mouse button to the left hand side and that's going to be my eye beam and then that works as well for all my shift buttons so i can shift blur I can hold shift and I can drop my darkness for the ray team, all that jazz, as well as I can, uh, you know, continue to AOE and stuff like that. And all, obviously this works for every single class. Once you get everything key bounded, um, it works for everything. All right. So I'm going to move my camera real quick, guys, and move it over to my keyboard. So you guys can see that I'm not using my keyboard at all to click any single button and that you can literally play Real Warcraft one handed as long as you key bind as long as you key bound with the mouse correctly. All right. So let me move, go ahead and move this over to my keyboard so you guys can literally see that I'm not clicking anything. All right. So this is all with just my mouse. See that? There it is. And then you can go ahead and get your sign. And the only time I have to hold shift is obviously to whenever I want to change the actual buttons. Alright, so there that's how it looks pretty much in action, alright? So um So real quick a little thing that I wanted to talk about, the special thing about the easy shift, alright? So with the easy shift, I know a lot of times it is really hard, like we were talking about, if your finger is getting tired, you're tired of clicking tap target, or, 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 you're, or you're a little older like my father and he's a little bit tough time, you know, clicking the tap button because it's such a stretch because he plays more over like this. So with him unable to click the tap target, what he's able to do with this mouse is he's able to hold the easy shift key down, 
which is going to be right here, the easy shift key. You hold this button down, and then you can click the middle mouse button to the left or whatever keybind you assign, and you can now swap cycle through targets. See that? So I'm pushing the middle mouse button to the left and cycling through targets while holding the easy shift bind. And now you can cycle through targets, all right? Without having to ever click tab. So my hands are on the keyboard. And now if you look at the screen, I'm just cycling through targets. See that? Without ever having to click tab. So if your hands are getting tired or it's really a struggle for you to click tab, you can easily um, assign whatever key bind you want to the mouse to be able to swap targets. Also, if you're a content creator like myself, all right, let me move my camera back up so you guys can see my face here. If you guys are a content creator like myself, a lot of times during raid or if something else is going on, it, it's sometimes really difficult to go ahead and um, and swap music, right? So what you can actually do, let me find it real quick. There it is. What you can actually do, guys, is actually swap between your music just using the mouse, all right? So pretty much... What that means is, as you guys can see here, is what I have it assigned to is easy shift, middle mouse button, that is play song. And I push it down to stop it. All right. And then if I want to skip the song, like if I'm in raid or I'm talking to my stream, easy shift, middle wheel, middle mouse wheel to the right, and now it skips the song for me. So if I'm middle of the stream, I want to skip a song, I don't like something that's going on, or I need to mute in order to talk to the stream, or I need to, you know, pause the music because my Ray team's talking, I can do that with just the touch of my mouse without having to even look over to my second monitor to even mess with Spotify, okay? And that's all done through the, um, let me show you. That's all done through here with the easy shift keybind. So I put it to next track and pause, and these keybinds, work with Spotify. So it, it the mouse automatically recognizes the Spotify and does it for you. Okay? So um hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully gave gave you guys a lot of information you guys didn't already have. If you have any more questions, you need anything else to help you set up your mouse for World of Warcraft, please um, leave the comments down below. I will get to them and answer them for you. Hopefully you guys liked and enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and please remember to click that subscribe button. And also please, please, please guys use my unique code to purchase anything on the realcat.com website. I would deeply appreciate it. It helps, it supports me and also it helps and supports an amazing company like Realcat. All right. So take care guys. Thank you so much for watching. I deeply appreciate it. Peace out dudes. Till next time. All right. Deuces.